Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 10 by 20 inch canvas that used to have some long grass and a bad butterfly on it. And I'm going to do what I consider to be some fireworks. So I'm going to cover a lot of it with mead and black. And then, hopefully, lay some other colors down on top. Now I have found when I recycle canvases and I have paint underneath that the paint I'm adding on top will dry almost twice as fast as at any other time. It's like it draws the moisture right out of it. And obviously it's also maybe suspect about how long I how well it's going to cover because I primed that only one time and I realize that I have these stripes in my canvas. That's why I'm doing fireworks. I'm going to make them look like they're exploding up into the air, I hope. I might have to touch up my, my edges. I really haven't done exactly this before over some white paint and I probably would have been wise and you could be too to use gesso but I, I think this what I'm going to do would work without having to be over a recycled canvas for certain. And I kind of like the striations, the stripes from the grass so I'm not going to mind whatever marks show up. Indentations is a better word. But I am having to take my time and go kind of slow to make the paint cover. But I like that. We're done. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love black and white modern modern art. Graphic. Calligraphic. One more go. I don't know. Usually the Meaden covers in one but because of the texture of the painting that's a little bit of an issue right now. I'm going to put some Chantilly lace across that center section and that's where the vast majority of my fireworks I think are going to look like they're exploding into this potential night sky which the bottom I really shouldn't worry as much as I am because I'm going to put what do you call the, um, the tails or trails for the fireworks as they go up in the air I guess that's as close as I'm going to get to deciding that that's the right description. Now once I get this... Wow, that took like way too long. <laughs> I don't have that kind of patience. Alright, that's going in the bucket. I'm going to use my Chantilly lace. Try it both directions. I don't want them to be too straight. I don't know what this is going to look like. I know I fell short on one of them and I'm going to have to stick a skewer in there. And then I can find a skewer handy, which there usually is. Hoping that'll spread out. Fill in. If it won't, put some more paint on it. Because the black paint was still too wet. Not so wet that I can't remove something though. Although, it's not looking like it's going to work for me. So I'm just going to fake it. Alright, now, now comes the tricky part. I am going to use some of my Amsterdam black with Floatrol. I 
I need to go all the way up to that top edge. It doesn't matter if my lines don't go down. They'll when I swipe down, they'll they'll get fixed. Is that enough? That is enough. I hope that's enough. I've got my little acetate tools right here and hopefully just one will do. So I'm going to start on the edge, I guess, with some saffron, some orange crush, and a little bit of sour lemon with Orange Crush in it. And I really should have... Oh, I said I was going to use white, didn't I? Okay, well we're going to try it. There's the white. I'm going to use a smaller... Shouldn't have touched that up. I need another scrape dish. I want less cell activator next time. And I think a little more color is going to have to happen. And I'm going to use a little bit of jasmine on that. And drop of the white. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. So I'm just going to keep doing it. I've got some carnation, pink carnation. Some deep amethyst. And where's my. There we go. Wipe that off. Use less. Just dip it ever so lightly. And my, there's my scrape dish. So I'm going to keep scraping. I've got to be careful to stay out of the wet paint at the bottom. They look more like flowers, honestly. Maybe one more drop. I think it'll be cute looking one, one way or the other. I hope anyway. I might tip them up. Alright, what have I got? I'm being called to turquoise and I didn't pull any out. So let's do that. Go for jasmine, royal sapphire. I should start up above. Oh, my wild orchid is closed temporarily. I got it. Today's the first day I really started to use any white. I want to use a palette knife. Maybe I should do that. Flowers with white stems. Less what I had in mind and more what it wants to be. Alright, I think I'm going to grab a little more black. Or I'm going to move it, which maybe is a better idea. Since I know it'll slide. That's a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula. I am going to grab a little bit of poinsettia. And the pink orchid, excuse me, the pink carnation. I have a pale purple. Where is that? 
Um, maybe some pale blue. I've got Whispering Wind, which is a primary element. I will list the colors underneath the video. All right, time to try a new. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to fill in on that little gap there I see. Maybe I'll just cheat now. That's not too bad. I kind of want to blow that up. What did I do with my straw? Hello straw. There you go. Move it up and out. I'm going to start with a little bit of uh, something that's not open. Yeah, I get it. It closes pretty easily. That is frostbite. And wild orchid which is closing up, which I better open pretty quick because I'm going to want that again. And jasmine. And maybe throw in just a little bit of saffron. I might have to color my, my fireworks tails to look like foliage <laughs> or run something up them. I'm going to wipe off my Swipe tool. Kind of want something darker in there. I guess I'll put up with it. I don't know how well my original idea worked out, but it's still kind of interesting. <laughs> kind of surreal, too. I suppose I could cover them with green or just add green to them. Right over the top even maybe. Alright, so I'm thinking I really loved how the orange looked at first. And I'm kind of thinking I want some Chantilly lace. Where did I hide it? There it is. I like the purple. I wish I'd put some blue in there. That's the Chantilly lace. That's the orange crush. That's the saffron. There's the jasmine. And just for grins, we're going to put a little bit of African violet in there. Not a lot. Wipe off my swipe tool. Got some really interesting colors coming off. So I'm thinking I like this. This is really weird and kind of cool and uh, <laughs> nothing is actually going exactly as I planned. But I'm liking it anyway. So let's do some Whispering Wind. I've got Prussian Violet, which maybe I'll put on after I put on a little bit of the African Violet. Then the Prussian Note. Then the Jasmine. Then the Prussian Violet. Maybe sneak in a little tiny bit of that Royal Sapphire. Kind of missed the yellow I was thinking about putting in there. I didn't put any in. No gold, no yellow, no nothing.
Not sure what I'm doing. I've got a couple minutes left. And like I said, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Less like fireworks, more like flowers. Really weird flowers, but flowers just the same. I could even do chain pulls in there. I didn't think of that until just now. That'd be kind of cool. So it's not part of the original plan. Kind of weird and cool all at the same time. Um, I'm wondering what else I can do and I'm thinking I'm going to try and do some stuff. Because why not? There's a little jasmine. A little orange crush. Asparagus is white. I guess that's only if it's in the dark. Try. I mean, I can always come back if I have to. I've got a partial mark there and I want a better mark. I've got all kinds of paint in my dish. And I don't know if I can get away with this or not. I'm going to try it once. All right, I'm just going to say I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this has become something it wasn't meant to be, but I don't really care. And I don't think I need any paint underneath. That was saffron. That's Orange Crush. This is Pink Carnation. And I kind of like a little bit of Chantilly lace. I also want a skewer handy. Just because. I'm going to keep using my same chain, although I am going to wipe it off in between right now. Because that was a lot of mixed color. I have just looked at that and I want some more sour lemon with orange crush in it.
just makes me want some of the... I want to keep using up the paint I've got, but I'm going to use it and I'm going to add something else to it. Like in this case, a little bit of wild orchid and maybe some jasmine too. I like watching the Australian Floetrol develop some cells. I'm going to use a little bit of Whispering Wind also. And I should probably have a paper towel handy and wipe off my chain, but for some reason, just not that interested. So this sort of resolves, sort of resolves my issue with the white stems. Or it will in time. Time being key, because it's going to take time to fix this. Or turn it into whatever it's supposed to be. I've got a little schmutz right there, so that's the perfect place to start a new one. A little more indigo violet. My bottles are deciding to close up on me. A little bit of royal sapphire. A little bit of jasmine. Oh, I've got black raspberry and I haven't used any of that and I love that color. Let's use some of that. I also wouldn't mind some gold. All right, whatever I was going to put in there, never mind. I am going to find something right here handy to wipe off my chain just for a moment. don't really want a double line there or a gap. Sometimes if you let the chain rest, it'll deposit some paint. I want some more brights. So I guess I'm going to just go for it. Either down here or up there. And I guess it's going to be up there. I kind of like the flower and I didn't want to do anything to destroy it. but. That was Orange Crush again. And Jasmine again. And somewhere right around here I have, I could use Chantilly Lace, but I think I'm going to just use a little bit of the um, Frosted Berry. off my chain again. I think I might be getting very close to being done. I love the way the colors spread out. Something in there made me think I should use some true silver. Yep, so let it rest a minute. Black is still a little bit damp, which is okay. I kind of want to dip my chain in green and put it down and see what happens. It's not quick. I think something over here. There's the African violet. Needs to be cleaned out soon, obviously. A 
little bit of the frosted. I might put some dots up above on this. I keep thinking I want some as the jasmine. Do I want anything else? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm going to go for some, some more orange crush. And a little bit more, very little, saffron. I hate taking the time to clean the chain off. I wish I had like bunches of them. Alright, so far so good. I'm wondering if maybe I would need a low one or a high one right up. Too many bottles. Just light bright colors. That was the frosted, that's the pink carnation. And what do I want to do? I really want to put that sour lemon in there. My Chantilly lace is beginning to set up, so I have to be careful. I guess I'm just going to put up with white stems. But I do see a cat hair that I wish was not there. Huh. So should I put green in there or not? I think I'm just going to take advantage of the fact but that looks like I could pull some color down out of there. And I don't mind the extra marks. And it occurs to me I could do that pretty much wherever I want. As long as it's not too set up. I think that's pretty good. The only thing that's bothering me that I can see is that little white mark right there. And that other one right there. All right, I think that's it. I should tell you guys I love you and uh, you inspire me always. I hope you come again. I post at 3.15. Oh, I said I was going to put some dots in there, didn't I? 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, what color should the dots be? Should they be Chantilly Lace? Maybe they should. That's the textural thing, textural element I like. If I want little, I could even put little buds on if I wanted to. And I can imitate the impression of depth by putting the dots in all sorts of random places. I think that's a really good idea. Just lots of random places.
loving the dots. Might need some more. I don't know if going down there was a good idea. Where was I? I was telling you stuff. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, <laughs> you can have pretty much anything that I have created added to spring clothing that's below the video or Society6 or Le Gallerist. Le Gallerist is clothing made in Montreal. It's expensive, but it's worth it from what I hear. I'd like to own a piece someday. But I've known people who've purchased it and they seem pretty happy. This is not like my other flowers and I hope my head hasn't been blocking you the whole way. But if it has, I'm sorry. Where else? Excuse my head. Please. Sometimes it's hard not to get a little bit low. All right, I'm going to try and shimmer that at you. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not unhappy. I keep being called to this one area in here, though. I'm not sure what to do about that. I could put one more flower in there. If I still got my chain, if I didn't throw it in the bucket. My paint is getting kind of sticky. It's time to throw all that in the bucket. I've got more chain handy too, which is fortunate. I think I just want this to be... Jasmine. Flatten that out a little bit. Just what I wanted. Well, close. Close enough. That'll work. All right. It's a good thing it's a 10 by 20. And I don't think that texture in the bottom is going to ever hurt anything. I do have my phone, so I can shimmer this at you. I also have my straw, right? So if I wanted to try and... Make adjustments. I don't know if they were good adjustments. Longest flower video to date. I'm going to just turn that off and <laughs> add a little flourish here and there. I don't think that'll hurt anything. That might have. All right. That's pretty cool. Ha! <laughs> I seem to be on a roll. Do 
just finishing off a little spiral inside. I've got some cool cells, especially like these over here. Not that you can see them easily. Yeah, I got it in the right place. I'm going to go turn the light off so I can shimmer this at you correctly. Yep, not expected at all, but it is what it is, and that's what it's all about, going with the flow. All right, I'm going to put one more spiral in. As long as I have a point. Right in there. Perfect. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please leave me a comment. Your questions are welcome and encouraged. My Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is below Show More. There is a 20% off plus color art coupon code underneath the video along with a Pixel Paint Designs coupon code for Boom Gel and Australian Floetrol and Pevio Paints. But uh, color art is, I'm an affiliate, so it helps me out when you shop them. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share my videos. Three, please watch them longer. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Like I said, I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Springo, Florida. And everything can be re re reproduced on the merchandise at Legaler Society 6, pixels.com, Fine Art America. And uh, no, I love you guys. You inspire me always. I will speak to you anon. I have 30 pl one playlists of 100 videos each, and they're all organized also by topic and genre. So if you like something in particular, mention it, and I will give you a playlist. I love you much. I'm winded. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'll see you anon.